everybody. Their dog's barking outside. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Henson. So today I'm doing my own burgundy braids. I'm starting on hair that was blow dried three days ago, but I finally decided to pre-section my hair. And as you can see, that was needed because I know y'all saw that part. Um, but no worries, of course I fixed it. And it took me a long while, but I did have a mirror in front of me and behind me to help me with my parting. And this is what the parting progression looks like. not the original plan the original plan was to go get my hair done by a braider but unfortunately after they flaked on me twice I decided you know if you want something done do it yourself so um I'm not new to doing my braids I've done my braids before um so I've went ahead and already pre-sectioned loosely um my hair in the different parts that I want I did that the other day so now I'm just about to jump right into installing the hair Um, so I'm going to be using, um, 1B350, so it should, you know, blend down to burgundy. I've never tried this color on myself before, so I'm going to be trying that. A good portion of this probably will be voiceover because I've got Property Brothers set up right over there. And then if you all are wondering, yes, I know that the two lights are showing, but it's going to help me with this mirror. <clears throat> I think you can see the double mirrors that I have, so I have that black one that you can see right here in front of me and then I have this tan one behind me. I pulled that mirror out from my bedroom y'all um, just so that I could see the back parting and make sure I'm getting everything as neat as possible so um, the lights are helping me to see the back of my head so bear with that but thank you all and stay tuned for the final look. <laughs> So I'm back. Um, I have done the back half of my hair, as you all can see. Um, I'm still working on it. It has been several hours. I'll insert how many hours it's been on screen, and I still have more to go. But I just wanted to show you all the color. Isn't that beautiful? Y'all, I really have been neglecting my hair. Um, I'm about to talk about it more on my channel, but I'm definitely about to step up how I treat my skin and how I treat my hair because I know what to do. I've just been slacking. Um, so I'm going to have some more videos to come on how I implicate self-care, but basically I'm just taking down one of the mini twist sections, as you can see right here. I'm gonna briefly check it to see if I see any split ends and then I'm just gonna cut those, you know? Cause that's what I've been doing for the rest of my hair. My next step for me, um, I'm just gonna wet my ends. Water is moisture y'all and then the products you use help to seal in that moisture. So I'm just gonna wet my hair, use a little leave-in. It's the same leave-in that is on my wash day video on my channel. I use the same products um, and then I'm going to grab some of my curls. 
curling cream. And I'm also gonna grab some shea butter for my ends because I like to take my braids down and I like my hair to be nice and moisturized. So the only thing I'm gonna be putting on my scalp is the Shining Jam. But first I'm gonna section off the hair I'm gonna be using. So um, once again, this is the color. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she gorgeous? All right, but this is the color. I'm just gonna break off a small section. I'm gonna break off this much. And then I'm gonna break this section into two because with knotless, it's basically a feed-in braid, a feed-in single braid. So I'm gonna use these two sections and then I'm just gonna break off one more teeny tiny section. That should be good. And I'm just laying this hair in my lap because that's what I have. I'm really trying to slick it on there because my hair is a mix of 4B and 4C and it definitely likes to get kinky on me. So just want to see that stay as flat as possible because I'll probably be keeping these braids in for a little while. But anyway, so with the knotless braid, you are going to start braiding your own hair a little bit. So just break it up into the different sections as you see fit. And then you're just gonna do a regular braid. So I'm gonna do one, two, three. And then I'm gonna bring some hair in between two fingers and then I'm gonna insert the hair that I did not use in between that section to lock it in. And then I'm going to do two rotations of the braid. And then I'm going to add some more hair. Once again, locking it in with that middle piece. And then twisting down. And then based on the thickness of the braid so far, that's when I decide to add in more hair. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more. And this is towards the front, so I'm using skinny pieces. I'm just gonna bring it in between two strands and then lock it in with the strand that I did not use. And then you just proceed to braid down as normal. Add a little shine and jam there as you go along if need be just to keep everything you know together and then i don't try to pull my roots tightly but i definitely do try to uh, do the braid as taut as possible just for longevity purposes all right so one more time i'm going to unravel the twist eye that i already made you all see that One, two, three. You're gonna add the extra hair to the two sections you allotted off, then take your third section and use it to tie it in. Hope that makes sense. Then I go ahead and do one more braid rotation. Stick this back in my mouth just to keep it taut. Add some more hair, use this as the middle to lock it in. And then I'm gonna do a couple more braid rotations down, and then I'm going to feel for the sections that have the most hair. So when you just did those two rotations, there'll be one section that got hair twice and two other sections that only got hair once. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more section to balance it all off. And then I'm gonna take this middle piece once again and stick it to lock it in and twist. Then just proceed with the braid as normal and add some shine and jam if you need it. Hey 
y'all i just finished braiding my hair the sun rises in less than an hour so i'm about to go to sleep i'll show you all the finished results tomorrow i still have to dip my ends and everything um but i definitely think these are the best braids that i've done so far i look so tired good night y'all good morning so i am back um it is about four hours later did the bags go away not really but yeah so i finished my hair you all and this is what it is looking like it's more of a burgundy and 1b color up top and then it goes down to this more fiery color this color at the bottom is 350 but yeah i think it's nice um this is what i was going for initially in the picture that i wanted the braider to do for me and this is the hair that i ended up finding at the store so not exactly the same but i like it now i just have to go ahead and mousse my top part and then soak my ends but i'm about to go to the gym so i figured i'll do that later um and then i'll lay out the little bit of edges that i have i'll slip those down i didn't do that last night either If you all want to know what I did to help refresh my braids and um, to put on my scalp, you can check out my self-care video um, that's coming out on my channel very soon. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Um, be blessed, stay hydrated, be productive. Peace out, y'all. Mm, mm, mm.